hairless monkey. We are no more or less nature than a, a fly fish, a puppy, or a recommend checking out we are nature the uh, there are so many beautiful images packed into such a short film i was blown away i love that everything was filmed in black and white it really reiterated the main idea that humans and nature are connected and they're one and the same um, and then on top of that the narration was just like poetry it was delivered so well and i loved how the music tied everything together it's such a simple piece but very very stunning and i really enjoyed watching this it. was beautiful just really, really well shot, really well art directed, the special effects. I don't even know how to describe what this was that I was watching, but it's so intense and it's so deep and the storytelling is so clear in its simplicity and elegance and beauty um, and darkness. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really loved it. It's, it's really beautiful, very thought provoking. And um, uh, congratulations, excellent direction, excellent editing, excellent all around. It's really stunning. Congratulations. It has been composed and filmed wonderfully. The film works great in black and white. And the close-up shots are very high bokeh, which is blur. Which really helps put the subject in the center of attention. I thought this was beautiful and I thought it was beautifully shot and beautifully put together. Um, having the kind of like one-to-one -one visually of people in, in nature and in like completely immersed in nature in like this kind of almost gritty but beautiful way of them like climbing and and climbing the trees and being in the trees and like all these different aspects that are all completely surrounded by this beautiful nature and then up to the skies and things like that i think putting equating it to a one, like one-to-one -one thing like when you saw a human being on screen you saw them in nature they there was no division between the two and i think that having that visually kind of underline the point that you were hearing like oddly ah uh, yeah like with the um like the sound and like the poem i guess that she was reading um i thought they paired that so well it's together a great example of a film that can be short and simple yet still pack in a lot of commentary um the cinematography and the direction really lend themselves well to this message this overall message of how humans are really one with nature and that we are not anything special beyond that and we re really rely on nature. Um, I found the choice of putting the film in black and white to be quite interesting. It really takes kind of this this uh, message to an artistic level that I feel like lends itself really well to, to the overall message. It's really interesting. Um, you know, it makes a lot of strong choices. Um, it's a it strikes a very um fascinating tone with the kind of like you know sort of creepy music that's going on as well as the you know the blocking of the actors climbing stuff it makes everything feel very like sinister also like having it at night and with black and white it all feels very um like foreboding and kind of yeah just creepy but um yeah, I, I thought that the, the narration was solid. Yeah, I thought too. overall the entire piece felt very cohesive, and I think there's a lot to be proud of here. I thought that the tone of the narrator's voice set a great mood for the film. It was intimate, but at the same time eerie in combination with the music. I also enjoyed that while the film was a commentary on our environmental impact, and I thought a call to action for humanity, it was very cinematically shot. The lighting was dramatic and the visuals were meticulously executed. I thought that it started with closer shots and as we moved through the film, the shots became wider and were more wider shots were incorporated. And I thought that that really added to the impact of the film overall as we really pull out and show the scope of this issue.